Today I want to show you how to make these adorable Zentangle bracelets. I came up with this idea because I wanted to make something really cool for my boys to give to their girlfriend for Valentine's Day. And you could even make them as gifts for Christmas too. These bracelets are made out of pantyhose and beads that I painted and then colored on with Sharpie markers. They are so inexpensive and easy to make and they make great gifts. I'm going to give you some tips on how you could do your beads to make it a little bit easier for you. You might want to check out my other video on how to do Zentangles. I'm going to leave a link below in the description so it will be easy for you to find. Oh I can't wait. Let's get started. The first thing that I do is I get beads with a decent size hole. I put them on the tip of a pencil so that I could paint them easily. I use acrylic paint and then I put them on a paper plate so that the paint can dry. I did put a couple coats on mine. The next thing that I did was I looked online to find ideas that would spark my imagination. I love the lace designs that they use for fingernails. I think they are so cool. I also look at my Zentangle sites. They have slews of ideas. Then I create my Zentangles. I'm going to put some links below on some of the sites that I use to get some good ideas. One of the things that you might want to put on your beads are special words like simple, love, peace, Things that will encourage you to remember to focus on the positive things in life. Names can personalize any piece of jewelry to make that person feel more special. Dots and squigglies can help you fill in any spaces that need to be filled in on your beads. Flowers make your beads happy and fun. Shapes of any kind will make a bead pop. Sunbeams and suns make your beads happy and bright. Hearts add a special touch to any bead. Snowflakes or stars make a lovely design. I get the pantyhose and I wrap them around my wrist so that I can estimate the size of the bracelet that I want to have. Remember, they do stretch. After I cut the size that I want, I will then cut the pantyhose into two pieces. Then I will thread my needle. Then I will push the beads over the needle and onto the pantyhose. There's all four of them. Then I get my needle and thread, make a knot in the end, and then I sew the two ends together. 
The last thing that I do is I take the two ends that I just sewed together and I push them to the center of one of the beads. This will hide that mended end and you won't be able to see it. I hope you enjoyed watching me make my Zen Hangle bracelets. I know the girls are going to love these for their Valentine's gifts. If you have any questions or suggestions, I'd love to hear from you and leave them in the comment box down below. I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> this town ain't big enough for the two of us. That's funny, man.